had a 3-0 defeat to Alfreton Town today, where was that game lost? Um, fine margins, really. Um, but you know they deserved they deserved it. Um, just think more know-how, um, a bit more streetwise than us, and um, we, we knew that you know Matt Reed's he's probably as difficult a number nine that you're gonna have to play against, um, and he causes issues all all afternoon, which you know we we we, we kind of knew. Um, it's a case of trying to be organised for for the seconds, and you know we, we of course we knew that when they put the ball in the box, it was always going to be a problem for us. Um, but I just think the goals came at bad times for us because I can't really criticise the players for their effort. I really can't. Um, we should have, probably could have been one 0 up. Um, they had a, they had a really good chance early doors. Um, they got in behind us. And he smashed it across the goal. But then after that, I felt we kind of, you know, were a better team for a, for a period in the first half where we put them under a bit of pressure, asked a few questions. Tyler Walton's broken behind, he's gone round the keeper. I don't know. I don't know why he's not given a penalty. I have no problem if he doesn't give a penalty if he books Tyler because there's no reason for him to go down. The explanation I've been given is a cop out for me. He just said he's, he's, he's fallen over. Why would why would a player fall over when he's gone round the keeper and he's got the goal gaping in front of him? If he dives, then that's unacceptable and book him rightly so. But that's a nil-nil. It's a big moment, you know. Then their keeper makes an absolutely unbelievable save off Luke Parkin. He swivels and smashes it, you know, from about eight yards. It's right above his head, but it's nearly past him, and he, he just it's an unbelievable reaction receive onto the crossbar. The rebound comes out. It just bounces away away from us, and it's just the way it's going for us, you know. And of course, then to go and give away such a such a crap goal off off a corner is is incredibly disappointing, um, you know. And then second half felt like we started the second half all right. We tried to be a bit better with the ball, and then obviously the second goal was just an absolute sucker punch. Um, third one at the end, you know. Again, it's he's made first contact, and we've we've not picked up the seconds, and he's put it past Tom. So. All in all, very disappointing. I think the goals, again, were soft. I said that to the lads, you know, I'm not standing here being critical of them, but the, the goals are, they are soft. And, and we've been conceding soft goals now for a number of weeks. Um, so I think we need the break. I'm glad we haven't got a game next week um, because we need, to, we need to hit the reset button here um, and, uh, and try and, you know, kind of figure out a way of, of, of competing better in games. And then hopefully that'll then transfer into us maybe picking up a few more results. Yeah, it's obviously been a tough few weeks as you've spoken about. How do you kind of try and turn that corner now with a couple of weeks before our next game? It's very hard, Tom. You know, I, I said to you, all we can do is stick together and work harder. I physically cannot work any harder than I have done this week. I've probably made myself ill through working so much to try and do everything I can, you know. Um, the lads have trained well this week. We've not had many bodies in, in training. We've had probably more in with the physio than we've had on the pitch. Um, but all we can do is stick together. You know, we, we've got to stick together. We've got to work hard, you know. I've given the lads Tuesday night off because I think mentally we need a bit of a break. Of course, the lads who are injured, they'll be in, you know, seeing Gasha because we, we need to try and get, you know, some of them back as, as quickly as we possibly can. Um, that's obviously another advantage of us not having a game next Saturday is it gives us two weeks where we're not going to play any more games and hopefully likes of Jimmy, Joel, in particular them two will be much closer whether they'll be right for Kurs and might just be a week early um, but you know we've just got to we've just got to stick at it there's um, there's not much else you know that, that we we can do. We've obviously added Lewis Turner and Ben Blythe coming in this week how have they kind of settled in? They both came in and trained on Thursday night, and you know, obviously, they've both been thrust into it tonight. What, what I'd say is, I thought, I thought that Lewis um, gave us, you know, the energy. Um, you know, won a few second balls in there, and you know, when he had the ball, he kept it, you know, ticking over, which is everything we expected, you know, from him. Uh, and he'll he'll grow game by game. Obviously, they're coming into a very challenging situation where, you know, we're short on confidence, and the team is struggling a little bit at the minute. Um, and for any players coming into that, it's difficult. Um, 
you know, Ben, I mean, what an unbelievable learning experience that is for him. You know, he'll never play against anything like that probably in his life, you know, and he's come up against Matt Reed and probably one of the hardest number nines in the league to play against. He'll he'll take so much away from that experience. Um, you know, obviously we'd, we'd, we probably didn't get to see as many of his qualities today as we, we may have liked because of the nature of the game. But, um, you know, good lad, good attitude. What he, what he certainly didn't do, though, was he didn't shy away from the challenge. He kept trying to compete with him all afternoon and uh, I've got time, you know, for, for, for that. So, you know, we'll, we'll see where we are in a few more days and um, go from there.